everybody, it's Chuck from Inside the Cybertruck. Uh, had some commenters uh, talk about my driver assistance system comments on my last video. Uh, so I thought I would make a standalone video about resetting the DAS uh, computer, driver assistance system computer. Um, on my road trip, uh, it was a 12 hour road trip and it went flawlessly all the way up to Kentucky. Didn't have any issues on FSD 1322 at the time. But on the way back, about halfway through the drive, I got the red uh, critical error, the uh, red hand alert, and the uh, full self-driving was no longer available. And it did say there was a system failure. Uh, and then the little gray steering wheel was not available. It looks just like uh, if you get five strikes or the number of strikes that wipe you out, you can't engage it anymore on that drive. But this is different. This was the driver assistance system failure of the FSD computer, and it would not reset. I tried all the basics of a double wheel reset, while driving, I pulled over, I did another double wheel reset. I got out of the car to try to reset the drive and all of this did not work. Um, but what I ultimately ended up needing to do um, was do a driver assistant system reset, which is inside of the service menu. It's not for the faint of heart, but I think it's worth everyone understanding that this capability is available for you. If you're in a situation where you needed FSD to come back and you didn't have time to call service or anything like that. Uh, so I'm gonna walk you through it. Um, and then we'll talk a little bit about some options on the Model Y and uh, 3 and the other vehicles in the fleet. So the first things first, to get to the service menu uh, from any vehicle, you essentially are tapping the vehicle in the lower right hand button and you're going to go to the software page. And on the software page, you're going to long press on the logo, the Cybertruck logo here or the Model 3 Y logo for three seconds or more. And then you're going to be prompted for the password. The password is service in all lowercase, so S-E-R-V-I-C-E -E in all lowercase, and then press OK. Once you get the password entered correctly, you got a little bit of a splash screen warning you that you're going into service mode, but just tap on enter. When you enter service mode, essentially you have this red uh, band around the entire screen, visually alerting you in service mode, kind of giving you the warning. You can see the speed is limited. Uh, and this is what they use at the Tesla service centers typically when you notice on your app that your vehicle is in service mode. To get to the driver assistant system or DAS computer reset, we have to go to the driver assist menu at the top center right here. So when you tap driver assist, you go into a sub menu so you can see the driver assist icon is grayed and then the only other option is cameras we're going to tap the cameras menu now inside of the driver assist menu and then when you're inside of the cameras menu you have a lot of um, information that's available it's kind of cool information if you've never been in here before maybe take some time and take a look at it but in the lower right hand corner is a reset das button that's what we're after here uh, not clear camera calibration, anything like that. We're going to reset the DAS. It's just a computer reset. We're going to tap that button. And now it's going to essentially give us another menu where we need to run this program. Um, and we're going to tap on the run button. But now when we tap on the run button, we have to unlock the gateway. This sounds a little bit scarier than it is, but essentially this is just another protection uh, that you're not doing this uh, at the wrong time. In order to unlock the gateway, it's the same on uh, all the vehicles, but the buttonsology is different, of course, with the stock or a yoke. We have to hold the right turn signal down and hold the brake down for eight seconds. It gives you a timer, so you don't need to count on this one. And when it gets down to zero, you're going to see that the gateway is unlocked. And I just repressed the right um, turn signal button to make the, the screen go away. So the gateway is now unlocked for 90 minutes. We don't need that much time. All we are gonna do is now reset the driver assistance system, DASC. When you press that, it immediately resets that computer and we're done. We don't need to do anything else, but we need to back out of this service menu now. And all we need to do, you see there's a rerun button. If you did tap that, it's gonna do the exact same thing. It just redid it, but that's not what we're after here. Just press close and you're gonna back out of that menu. And now we just are back in the service menu. We need to get out of the service menu. There's two different ways of doing this. In the lower center, you can sort of see an icon that represents kind of like exit service menu. It's got a little left bracket with a right arrow. If you long press that, that will exit the service menu. Another way of doing it is just pressing the vehicle uh, button in the lower left and it prompts you with the exit service mode button here. So we'll just tap exit service mode. The screen goes uh, back to normal and we have reset our driver assistance computer and you would be able to engage FSD uh, if you were perhaps uh, locked out before. You, I shouldn't say locked out. You weren't ever locked out. It was just a system failure that needed a reset. 
Now that computer would normally reset if your car went into deep sleep in several other ways, but that's not something you can always do when you're in the middle of a road trip and you're trying to uh, keep driving or get somewhere you're gonna try to go. Now I do wanna say that on the other vehicles that have a wheel tire configuration page, you can get a reset prompted without having to go all the way into the service menu. But if you notice on the Cybertruck, we don't have in the service menu any wheel tire configuration page yet. So this does not work on the Cybertruck. You need to do the service mode. But on the Model Y, uh, I'm going to jump out and I'm going to show you what this looks like on the Model Y. Stick with me. All right, everybody, I jumped over to the Model Y just to show you the similarities and the differences on the service mode. I'm gonna use this with my HDMI screen recording. Um, but the first thing I wanna show you is in the Model Y and probably the Model 3 and other vehicles, if you go to the service menu, you have this wheel and tire menu. You don't have that in the Cybertruck, but if you go to the wheel and tire menu, and I've already changed this, so I'm gonna change it back, uh, you can take your wheels and change their um, configuration. And as soon as you hit update there, this is going to reboot the computer just like going into service mode and resetting the DAS. It might be a little easier for those of you with that wheel option. Now granted, if you change your wheel uh, size in order to get a configuration change, you need to change it back so that the software knows what wheel you have. So it'll be two computer resets done through the service menu. And you see that was just a quick reboot. And if you come back over to the service menu, you'll see uh, under wheel and tire, my 19 inch Gemini metal metallic guy shadow wheels are there. So it just did a quick computer reset. But in the Model Y, the service menu is the exact same uh, functionality. If you go to software and you long press one potato, two potato, three potato, and you get service, S-E-R-V-I-C-E, -E, all lowercase, and you hit enter, you get the same warning as on the Cybertruck uh, about improper use, so just read it and then hit enter. And when you hit enter, you get the same a service menu screen with the red bar around it. Driver assist is at the top, driver assistant system, DAS, that's what we're talking about here. If you press that button there, you get the same cameras menu. And under the came, same cameras menu, you get the same reset DAS in the lower right hand corner. When you reset that, you get to run the option. And here in the Model Y, it's a little bit different on the Cybertruck. You know, this operation is gonna do it for 90 minutes, ensure the key is authenticated with the vehicle, hold the right turn signal in the active position and the brake. So of course the, the right turn signal is a stock in my car and then holding the brake, there it is. And then the countdown timer is there all the way in for eight seconds. And then the gateway is now unlocked for 90 minutes and to reset dash, you just press the button. Successfully hard reset the dash now we just back out of the service menu, close that, and you see I'm gonna do it this way this time. There's this little exit button there, and when you uh, exit the service menu, it completely, uh, it's not a tap, you have to long press to exit the service menu there. And then you'll see uh, we're, we're back out, and it did reset the driver assistance system. So that's how to do it on the Model Y. Uh, you do have the wild con uh, wheel configuration change that possibly could uh, work for you. I've never done that personally, but that was a tip from a uh, commenter. Uh, and then the service menu with the reset, the DAS should do the same thing. Hopefully that's helpful from inside the Model Y. All right, so hopefully that was helpful on the Model Y. Uh, I'm just gonna wrap up here from the Cybertruck. I just thought we'd put this out here because if you ever needed to know how to do it, at least there's going to be a video reference. You can refer to it or just remember that it was something about this. It's not for the faint of heart. If you've never done this before, just go slow and methodically. You're not going to break your car. You're not going to void your warranty, anything like that. But Tesla did embed these features in here a little deeper than usual because they're not really meant for customers. Um, but when you're on the road and you need your FSD back, sometimes there's just not a lot of options. And this is perhaps the only one you have. Uh, hopefully in the future, these errors will be few and far between like they were on my last trip. It only happened once on uh, 24 hours worth of driving, but it can happen. And uh, this is how you get out of it for the moment. Hopefully that was helpful. Leave some comments below. Let me know if any of you have actually had to do this yourself uh, and if you learned anything about this. See you next time. Have a great day, everybody.